Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being subscribed. We're almost at 11,000 subscribers. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then make sure you hit that um, subs subscribe button now. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell as well to be notified every time I drop a video. So today's video is a seamless, versatile sew-in. This is not your typical sew-in. You are able to pull this up in a ponytail. And um, you can't do the half up, half down, but you can get like a low ponytail, uh, like a mid ponytail, and um, you're able to brush it all back if you wanted to do like a ponytail or whatever, or a braid or something like that. Um, these sew-ins I do at the salon on a regular basis and um, my clients just love them because they're so seamless you can't even tell that they are wearing any type of weave at all. Make sure you guys watch this video um, completely through because towards the end I'm going to give you guys a few tips that is going to help your sew-ins be extra 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 seamless and when I say extra seamless I do mean extra <laughs> and when you get to the front of the sew-in or the front of the um, the braids make sure you you anchor that weft on top of the braid sew it down on um, both sides of the, the weft here, and then fold it over. So you're gonna sew it in underneath the braid, on top of the braid, and then you're gonna flip it over and then continue sewing. When I'm doing sew-ins and like seamless sew-ins, the one thing that I um, make sure I do is um, on that first braid that is, um, the braid that I think I'm no that's the braid that I'm on right now that first braid I only use one weft I don't double weft the hair on that first braid um, because I want them to be able to pull it up in ponytails and that is how they get their versatility so do not double weft on that first braid unless the person has extremely thick hair and they can cover it up Okay, so when you get to the top, what you're gonna do is make sure you are um, sewing the hair all the way to the top. To the top of those braids, even where like the braids start, um, make sure you're sewing right there as well. You see what I mean? So right in there, you wanna still be sewing. Even though it's not an actual braid, still continue to sew. Because with that top braid at the top, what you're gonna do is braid underneath I'm sorry, you're not gonna braid underneath. What you're gonna do is sew underneath that braid with some hair, is what, that's, which is what I'm doing right now. And then you're gonna go on top of the braid and sew again another piece of track. So that way it completely conceals the track. And also, just so you guys know, my client did come into the salon with her own hair. That is not um, the hair that I offer, but if you guys are interested in my hair, I do have body wave, straight and curly. Um, you can check those out on my website, www.justmariehaircollection. They would not. Wait, just wait. So y'all see how seamless 
that ponytail is oh my goodness it literally looks like it is growing from out of her scalp please comment below if you guys see how seamless that looks and also let me know if you guys want me to do more um, videos like this and more of a detailed type of video so you guys can um, kind of see exactly what I'm doing When doing my sew-ins, um, I only do a single track at the first braid, and then in between is where I double them up. So in the middle, I double up as many um, tracks as I can in the middle, and then the top, um, I make sure that I um, just do single wefts. So that way, it's flatter and it's not um, you can't it's not bulky or anything like that. All right, y'all, so this right here is my secret sauce. I spray Topic on uh, my clients that are getting sew-ins. I usually spray it at the top around their part that's up there at the top. So that way it um, completely conceals out that that part. And then it also, um, it, it also disappears that track as well at the top, so you won't see it. So I spray it a little bit on the track and a little bit on the actual um, line or part that's up there and it just makes it disappear I love that stuff they also have like the actual little little um, fibers that you can put on there too but I, I actually have never used that I only use the spray So the edge control I am using is from my line. Um, it is not available yet, but I am going to be doing pre-order pre sales very, very soon. So um, in order to be informed, you need to be a part of my mailing list. So make sure you go to www.justmariehaircollection.com to sign up for um, my mailing list. That is it for this video, beauties. I will see you next time. Make sure you are subscribed. Um, I do post every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So make sure you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you can be informed every time I upload a video. All right, beauties. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you comment down below videos you are interested in seeing next. All right, bye, beauties. I'll see you next time.